Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Europe Universalis 4. We are currently in a war with some of our allies that we're actually winning, even though it doesn't look like it, because our allies let all their territory get siege, which is going to be really bad for them uh, in the near term. And we're going to come out and down and help, I think. I've decided that I should probably be a little bit more um, helpful in this. I'm also going to burn just a little bit of admin points to uh, get rid of... To get rid of... Uh, of that, I'm gonna harsh treatment these dicks. Um, I think I'm also actually gonna get a general. I'm hoping I get lucky here. Big bucks, no whammies. Ah, <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> I have too many military leaders, but I think if I am going to come down and actually help these guys out, I'm going to need these military leaders. So, uh, so yeah, we'll begin the the transfer to Nordiland. I know it's Nordiland, but I'm calling it Nordiland. And eventually I'd like to go after uh, these guys here in Sealand, but... They're, um... Don't look like they're gonna be there anytime soon. I do have a, what appears to be dicks coming to fight me in, um... In Slesvig. So my last little bit of troops should arrive. Cool. Um, the next thing, you know, is I want to do my colonization. Why did I lose Diplo points? I thought I had Diplo points. Now I don't have Diplo points. I'm confused. It doesn't cost me Diplo points to hire that guy, does it? Um, anyway, I... Uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, uh, when my Diplo gets up to, you know, whatever it needs to be to get to my next Diplo tech, I'll be able to uh, colonize. So that's what we're going to do next. I also will be able, I want to do some exploration with my dudes, but, um, okay, so I've retaken my own land. I'm going to come down here and help out our allies, actually. Actually, it looks like our allies are going down to help out our allies. Can't really tell what our allies are doing. Okay, we're both going to kill these guys now, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like we're, we're all coming in to help out against the uh, rebels. Um, so that's good. And then I do want to come f fuck these guys up. Oh, I won that battle. Now they're up there going to fuck up, m trying to take over my territory. Yeah, that's not cool. I'm going to get the fucking crossing penalty, though. Oh, well, I looped around. But, okay, our ally is coming. So that's good. Come on, show up in time. Bring your extra dudes. There we go. Fuck you guys. I actually want to go back to my own lands. Uh, I think I have done a decent job contributing here. I'm not going to come. I'm going to actually, I, I lied. I'm going to come over and try to clear out some of these lands for our allies real quick. Um, but I do want to end up back in our own territory. Eventually, though, I'd like to get to fucking war with sea land. That's like my, my ultimate goal. It's just possibly unattainable. Oh, I could totally mothball these boats. Actually, I don't need to mothball them. But I will... Uh, you guys have already done what I wanted, which was to come here and, and, and provide naval support. So yeah, if we can un... If we can break these... These rebel-held territories, I think that will seriously help... Um... The AI. Uh, Brandenburg. And we want Brandenburg to be strong. A strong Brandenburg is good for Norway at the moment. Um, okay, they just had a civil war, so that uh, doesn't help the the cause. <laughs> yeah, this does not help the clause. Um, okay, fuck you, nobility. Fine by me. If I can get some way to boost their loyalty, that would be good, I think. I'm gonna come fuck these guys up. Up, oh, they're going to my they're going to my lands now. Up, oh, now they got more, more dicks, being dicks. 
I think Brandenburg just peaced out. Yeah, Brandenburg just peaced out, but they don't have their dudes in any good of a location. Civil War is not cool. Anyways, I do want to bring this army and get it up into Nordyland. It gives me a buffer in case somebody declares war because I can't get past Holstein. Um, Goddamn Austria. If Austria wasn't there, things would be so much better. But are you seriously coming back down here fucking again? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up again. Fuck you, Cologne. I can't. I don't know why Brandenburg's army is just chilling in uh, in this area. And again, I don't want to be. And they have to just had another stack spawned of pretender rebels. They needed to crush this rebellion much more quickly. But they just have fourteen thousand dudes just chilling here. This war is going to end very soon. Um, did I lower my inflation? team did we lower their inflation we did so gaining that inflation kind of sucks but whatever um also while i'm here i got the opportunity how many loans do i have two loans hmm that's bad i want to build more ships but i also don't want to be constantly in the red with all these loans so yeah well, I'm surprised that, I'm very surprised actually that uh, this war hasn't ended. What can I get out of the war if I peaced out? They won't give me war predictions. I have 0% war score, even though I won a series of battles. I'm not cool, apparently. I participated 18%. That's not... Totally horrible. Apparently our royal marriage has ended again. The pretender rebels have won. So I'll just get a new one. I also have like a ton of free dudes. Um, let's... Yeah, damn right. Renew those war taxes. Uh, improve relations with Austria. Improve relations with these guys. Definitely improve relations with these guys. Let's get some. Let's get some relational improvements down. We got one ducat. Got six favors. Cool. Um, now we will lower our army maintenance. Boom. Make some money. Make the monies. So anyway, uh, yeah, once we get to the right amount of... of I'm actually going to dock this fleet. Can you guys dock someplace smarter, please? Thank you. Um, I want to separate out three ships. I want to put the dude on it. And then what I want to do is explore. Because I saw when I was messing around that exploration was available. Go explore the American West Coast. And then you need to immediately um, help our trade power in the Lubick region. Where are these boats? Come here. Come back to the normal lands and we will have you uh, we will have you Mothball. Mothball. Boom. Alright, cool. So we should be making some money. Not quite as much as we were making before. Oh, Pretender Rebels. Take care of them. Boom. Can't have Pretender Rebels. God, how many how many uh, military points am I going to lose from stupid noble rebels? Maybe it was better to leave them unlanded. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, noble fucking rebels. <sighs> I'm not happy about that. Oh, now you guys are best friends. What if we de if I declared war on you? Would you want to go? Well, I don't have any troops, obviously. Wait, now who's going to uprise? I thought I just harsh treatmented you. I swear I just harsh treatmented you. Did we lose stability? No. They're just a bunch of dicks. Well, they have no influence, so at least doing that might reduce the rate at which these dicks become dicks. God, I'm not happy about this. 
I don't want to harsh treatment them again. God damn it. All right. Bring the fucking Navy army back over. Raise up the army maintenance. Not happy about this bullshit at all. Probably need to recruit another unit of infantry. Because I can't afford any of the other ones. So, boom. Congratulations. More infantry. Yep, there's the bullshit. Oh, you took Munster. Interesting. I, I must be bad at reading, but yeah, okay. You are ready to be cool, I guess. I'm just going to fight the rebels when they show up and be unhappy about it. What's what, what is lands did I give you, by the way? Nobility. So you'll probably rise up in, like, song here. That's where I'm guessing you're going to pop out in song. Soggin. Oh, I could also be Halagaland, which would suck. Halagaland would suck for sure. I, I, I should probably spend some of these points while I have them, but I think I want to spend them on making some of my lands better. Yeah, let's make... Um... Oh, the rebel revolt, and it was in Halagaland. And it's 13,000 men in Halagaland. And a lot of cavalry, which means they're probably going to have a huge advantage on me. But let's, uh, let's upgrade you. I don't really want to upgrade any of the other stuff. Base tax will help, I think. Is that not true? So each point of base tax is, is equal. So I'm, I'm going to spend a little bit on that. Of course they arrived. Wait, wait do they want to come to me? No, they don't. I'm not going to win this first engagement either. You never win the first fucking engagement. Especially here, where everything is fucking mountains, and everything is fucking rivers, uh, and you know, it's just butts and valleys everywhere. Yep. If I win this, it will be a freaking miracle. I mean, part of it is these lovely rolls that I was getting to begin with. Oh, now, now, we, now we're getting a little lucky, but we're still probably gonna lose. Yep, that was a bad one. Um, okay, so the Austrians love us. Lost the Battle of Halakaland, as expected. Show province. Diplomacy. Declare war. So nobody would come in. Interesting. And now you're going to go all the way back down to Bahusan. Like a bunch of dicks. That's okay. It's okay. Where are you transferring to? Sagan. You're going to Sagan. Okay. The burgers lose one... God damn it. None of these are good. broke now. I'm going to have to take out another goddamn loan. I mean, the, the game will automatically take out a loan for me. Yep. There it is. I don't want to be so broke. So you're teleporting to Sagan. You'll arrive there on the 11th of September. Okay. What if I'm in Sagan when you arrive? I mean, my army is going to be doing good and I'd much rather be the defender for once in my life than the offender are we are we just not moving I always figure out how long it takes to move shit around by the way did you finish your exploration no not yet not yet all right are you still coming to Sagan here you will on the 11th of September exploration finished that was uh well timed let's go check out um what why am I losing so much money Wait, what the fuck happened? Why does my army... C oh, it's because it's rebuilding. I always for fucking forget that it cost me a buttload of money just to recoup, rebuild my stupid army. Yep, we're in a shithole here when it comes to money. Um, Did I mention the possibility of, of forking off a colonial nation? Anyone interested in that idea? 
um, j honestly, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but um, genuinely, I think it might be a cool idea to, when I finally do colonize, to just fork off my nation as a colonial nation and just be just start existing out here. But you guys tell me if you're interested in that at all. Oh, now we got our third loan. Yeah, and then we'll just abandon um, Europe for now. Come back later. I think it might be really cool to become like a powerful colonial nation because I'll basically be the only one there and dominate the whole thing. So, oh, they moved. They arrived, and I am the defender, and I'm losing the rolls, but I'm winning the rolls again. Okay, cool. So we should win here. That should be the end of them. Beautiful. The end of the rebels. Rebel scum. So we'll go um, get this land back. Actually, I think it's probably cheaper to do that, and that should just automatically come back to me. Is that not how that works? Chill in here, but shouldn't this automatically return to me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Cool. Then we'll just turn this off. And then once you get back to full, I'll lower your army maintenance all the way down. All right, cool. So that wasn't the worst thing in the world. Um, wasn't the best thing in the world, obviously. We found the, Mah the Mahicans. If I declared war on them, could I just go take them out? Declare colonial war. I don't get a CB for colonial wars. Diplomacy. I cannot fabricate a claim on it yet. That's too bad. None of these lands are going to be very good. That's that's pretty much clear. All right, let's continue the exploration of the world. Explore for me. Um, explore the waters of the North Atlantic. I'm assuming that's just this shit over here and this shit over here, maybe. I don't know. Don't know. Want to go to war with people, but can't. You'll come to defend them. Brandenburg would come in on the war, but so would Poland. What? We're still losing money? Oh, because I forgot to lower my... My maintenance. Damn. The big problem here is it's going to cost us a buttload of money to maintain our... our uh, it's going to cost us a buttload of money just to maintain our... our Colonies, too, when we start col colonizing. Which is just bullshit, but... Whatever. I mean, I could, I guess, get rid of a couple of units here. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to just disband these guys. Get me a little bit more money. Why did you come all the way back here now? Well, whatever you did, you did it. Go explore the waters of West Africa. And eventually we'll be able to colonize something. Are any of these good is what I'm looking for here. The answer for most of them is no. No big surprise that none of them are good, but... But that's okay. We're about to end the episode, though, so uh, that will be fine. I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to wait a second before spending those points. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I I've had a great time so far, even though some shit happened. Uh, but with that all being said, uh, I will see you all next time.